makeup on. I haven't quite finished doing my hair yet. I've just brushed it and pinned it back. But I want to have an early start today because I want to try and get well on the way to lots of things being done that need doing before I leave the house at eight. So that's my plan. It's barely nine o'clock and it's been a morning already, let me tell you. It was freezing this morning. It was due to be a nice day, but freezing and it had been frosty overnight. But then it rained. This turned my driveway into an ice rink. I didn't realise. I went out to put my parcels, to had two big bags of parcels into the car and I fell over all, way, all over the driveway because I had not sensible footwear and I had little pointy boots um, with no grip on the soles. And I've bruised my bottom and I've bruised the side of my leg, my thigh, and I've hurt my hand. <laughs> and oh god and then I couldn't get up because I couldn't get because the drive was literally it's a slight slope down our drive and it was literally like an ice ring and I couldn't get up again oh my god what a start to the week and then my window was iced up I've got a heated front windscreen so that de-iced I'd had started the car in advance to defrost it and so I just thought oh I'll open the window and close it again and the whole sheet of ice just fell into the car I'd already changed my trousers because from lying all over the drive um, and unable to get up they were completely soaking wet so yeah anyway we are here we are going to have a look at TK Maxx because I want to look at bedding for my bed and I want to have a little look at Christmas candles as well so let's go and have a look at what's in the shop. It's really quite busy in TK Maxx despite the fact that it's very early indeed. I think they're opening at like 8 o'clock in the morning or something. So, Coming to this nice quiet little candle aisle, aisle to um, have a little look and see what I can find. Well I failed to take you with me on that shopping trip almost entirely, didn't I? I've been to TK Maxx and I've been to the M&S Food Hall next to it. And I think I hurt myself when I fell over more than I thought I did because I'm very achy and stiff. Anyway, never mind. I didn't film very much because it was busy. TK Maxx was busy. M&S was busy. Um, I feel like when it's busy... I don't mind filming in front of people, that's not a problem, but when it's busy, it's difficult to film and chat and also um, social distance or be more, I'm less aware of people around me. And I feel like people would rightfully be irritated if I was busy filming and got too close to them. So I think it's quite a difficult balance to find. So I don't mind filming in shops at the moment but when they're busy I feel like it's slightly inappropriate so I'm sorry about that I meant to film some nice little clips for you but didn't quite manage it um right it's off home now and attempt to make a start on the big list of stuff that I need to do home again and I'm not sorry to be home I'm not poking my house up <laughs> I'm not poking my head out of the door for the rest of the day. Let me show you what I bought. I've got some bits from Marks and Spencer's, but they're really not that interesting. So I won't bother with showing you those. You might Actually, I will show you one of them. Marmite cheese slices. So I love it or hate it, isn't it? But couldn't resist. I'm a big Marmite fan, so I thought I'd give those a go. So TK Maxx. Got myself this. 2021 diary calendar agenda it calls itself it's basically a diary but um yeah i really liked the colors and i like the fact it's ring bound with rose gold on the edge and it's got little tabs for all the months yeah i don't know if you can can you see that or not no because i'm gonna there we are tabs for all the months so that was 9.99 the brand is fringe it's from america very nice, got a nice stiff cover. Feels nice quality, do you know what I mean? And then I've got three candles, the bedding selection. I went to look for new bedding for my bed because one of my duvet covers is getting, the, both my duvet covers are white, or duvet sets are white, and um, I've had them quite a while, and one of them is getting just that. It's not that nice bright white color anymore. So I thought I'd replace it, but the selection of super king size bedding 
was so disappointing. TK Maxx used to be my absolute go-to place for Super King Size. But yeah, hardly anything. Just looking out at the birds while I'm talking to you. Looks like the, the whole of, you know the things we put out yesterday for the birds and actually put one. I put two next to each other, the squirrel proof one and the non-squirrel proof one, both with sunflower seeds in. The non-squirrel proof one is completely empty, completely empty. So the squirrels have obviously had that. The non-squirrel proof one is still completely, sorry, the squirrel proof one is still completely full. So I haven't seen any birds in it. I saw a bird trying to get into it yesterday. Only the very tiny birds will be able to get into it. But um, yes, we shall see. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. Sometimes it takes them a few days to get used to it, doesn't it? Um, so the, I've got all the candles I've got were DW Home, which again is an American brand, I believe. Um, and I really like it. They have a lot of it in them. Um, TK Maxx and Home Sense. And the first one I got is this, which is Fresh Pine. And look at the lid, so pretty. And it smells of all the Christmassiness. It's quite a sweetish pine scent, that one. Sorry, that one was $7.99. Really super good value. Um, and then I got Silver Spruce from the same range. And that's the lid of that one. And that is a more fresh smelling um, winter scent. Yeah, definitely. Yes, yeah, very fresh and um, invigorating. That's a good word, isn't it? Up in my game when it comes to describing scents. And finally, I got a slightly smaller one. This one, which is called Arctic Frost. And it just has the cutest little polar bear lid. And that's lovely. That's got almost a pepperminty smell. You know that sort of candy cane scent you get in candles? Lovely. Very nice indeed. Right, I need to tidy all this stuff away. Because my cleaning lady will be here shortly to clean the house. Well, it's one o'clock, lunchtime. Um, as opposed to one o'clock in the morning, but I wouldn't be vlogging at one o'clock in the morning, would I? So, yeah. Cleaner's just gone, that's good. She's made a lovely job of the house. It's looking good and she did Will's room, which is nice. Ready for him to come back whenever he's coming back. I can't, 15th, I think he said. Um, I think I'm going to have a kitcheny afternoon. I fancy doing some cooking. Fridge needs tidying out and um, Yes, that's sort of my plan. I've done my eBay listings and I've done some relists and I'm going to just open this advent calendar now. That was a weird segue, wasn't it? We are looking for number seven. Can you see it? I see it. It's here. What have we got today? God, it's right at the bottom. I thought there was nothing in it for a minute. It's a glass bottle. Right, let's... Go and sit down and see what this is. Okay, today's offering from the Advent Canada is this perfume called Dear Polly. It's in a really nice quality glass bottle um, and it's a good size as well. It hasn't got, annoyingly, it hasn't got an amount on the bottle, but I'm guessing that is, I think that's 15 mil, I would say. Um, so I've checked it. Hang on, let me read the little card to you. First of all, it says, "Beware for, be ready for some poet, poet, be ready for some poetry here." I am a love letter to love itself, writing the poetic ritual of tea for two in the morning. Notes of Ceylon back black tea, bergamot and musk evoke crisp morning sunlight. You won't find anything else like me. I am exclusive to liberty. It is by the Wilhelm Parfumery in New York. I haven't sprayed it yet. Um, definitely feels nice quality. Now a 50 ml of this is a uh, hang on a hundred and i can't see this hang on let me just hold that thought call up one moment so 50 mils of this is 121 pounds 50 and i think this is just so under half of that oh so i can't work it out maybe between 40 and 50 pounds i guess the value of this is which is certainly an improvement on 
yesterday's, isn't it, or the last few days. Right, let me pop you down a second. I'm just going to spray it. Sorry, I know that's an awful angle. Just let me um, spray. Always takes a minute, doesn't it? <laughs> You've got the ends of my makeup brushes pointing here. Oh, it's quite nice. Oh, it's unusual. I like that. I like that a lot. Mm, that's really unusual. It's quite a sort of unisex scent, I would say. I think Dear Polly is quite an unusual name for it. I wonder why it's called Dear Polly. Yeah, I really like that a lot. It's very, very nice. Um, what did I say these scent notes were? Black tea. Black tea and something else. Musk. Very nice. I like this one. Today's advent calendar is a winner. Just remains to be seen how long the scent lasts for on me. So I'll give you an update later on. Right, it's about time to do some cooking now. Had a nice lunch break. Had some leftover chicken casserole from last week. And I'm just looking for some garlic. And it looks like someone has used up all of the garlic. And it wasn't me. That's really annoying. And not told me to order some more. So, mm, annoying. Well, man, man, I've got garlic powder or something. So garlic granules. So that will have to do. So I'm starting off. The fridge is so full and so untidy. And um, I'm starting off with cooking this half a chicken breast, which I'm just going to poach it in some water. Um, it's been in there for longer than it should have been, although it smells fine. I'm a bit funny with chicken, so I'm going to poach that and cut it up for the cat. So at least it doesn't go completely to waste, so that's good. And then I'm going to use, I've got half a red onion here, I've got half a tin of chopped tomatoes and some bacon. I was going to put some garlic in, I'm going to make just like a bacon and tomato pasta sauce with a bit of chilli. Um, yeah, I'm going to get that going now. The rest of that's ready to be cut up for the cat. And then in here I've got the onion, some bacon, the tin of tomatoes, a couple of um, chopped cherry tomatoes that needed using up, some garlic powder or garlic granules, whatever it's called. Garlic granules. And some chilli flakes. So I'm just cooking. Oh, and also some... Um, a sun-dried tomato paste that I bought in Mars and Spencer's this morning. No, vine-ripened tomato paste that looked really nice. So a couple of teaspoons of that as well. Um, I have also just, we had a leg of lamb last night for dinner and I've just taken that apart. I've got the bone there ready to go out for the fox tonight. I um, might put the night vision camera out to see if he comes. And I've got the leftover lamb that I've taken off, off the bone which I'm going to mince and I'm going to make a shepherd's pie with that. Right cooking is done I've done two shepherd's pies with the lamb um, that's the pasta sauce I've done a smoked haddock chowder that's the cat's chicken and that's the bone for the fox waiting to go out. The dishwasher is on I've washed up some other stuff and it's time for a well armed break and a cup of tea I reckon oh I haven't done the potato for the top of these yet obviously you realise that, I'm sure. It's the innards of the shepherd's pie made. I have I just realised I haven't shown you my Christmas tray. So here it is. I'm very pleased with it. It's very icy white. But I'm so pleased with it. It looks lovely. My little octopus down there. And my puffer fish down here. Love him. A Christmas sloth, because everybody needs a Christmas sloth. And that's one of my decorations I got from Kirsten. That's a llama. My lovely peacock down there. And what else? Oh, that one we got from... I think that one turns on, actually. Let's pop him on. That one we got at Macy's last year. It's the New York skyline. Turn it around, you've got the Empire State Building and oh, the Statue of Liberty. So cool. 
so yes I'm really pleased with it there's my Christmas pineapple as well because everyone should have a pineapple I was going to show you as well my view in the evening I guess I haven't got the lights on at the moment I just thought it would be interesting to show you I don't think I've shown you I've always got the lights on inside so you can't see it um, but I was sitting here the other night watching it and if you let your eyes adjust you can see people's Christmas decorations not clearly but the, you can see the houses with the flashing decorations there's one down there that you can see quite clearly hang on one sec just Oh, you can't see my finger, can you? But I just, if you, let me see if I can make that a little bit bigger so you can. Yeah, there we are. You can see it now. Sorry about my dodgy camera work. Um, and there's a couple more. You won't be able to see them because they're too far away. But just up that road there, I don't know if you can see the sparkly lights. Sort of just under where my finger is now I'll move it so you can see but yeah it's quite nice looking at the Christmas decorations so I was trying to decide what I'm gonna do for the rest of my decorations because the lounge has changed somewhat since last time we um, had our Christmas decorations up up here on this bit of ceiling I don't want to blind you with the lights but here used to be open beams and all the be all along that bit of ceiling right the way back through there down to the dining room sorry I'm aware that's blurry the camera's struggling with the light um, come on camera there we are so yeah, we used to have the open beams and I had nails or hooks out of them all and I had baubles hanging from them and it was lovely. It was such a nice festive thing because the ceilings are quite high in here to make it feel more cosy and festive. But there's nowhere to put the hooks. We can't put the hooks into a brand new ceiling and the beam we've plastered underneath the beams now so the beams don't show. Um, so I don't quite know what to do with that and also just to complicate things further normally I have a Christmas wreath along the mantelpiece there but we switched the picture that we've got or the painting that we've got above the fireplace and that one sits it's actually too big for the space it sits too low down onto the mantelpiece and my garland won't sit well won't sit there because the picture comes out too far from the wall it will sit higher up than the picture and probably not fit because it's quite bushy and it's quite an effort to get it to stay on this at all so with the added width of the picture I think it might be problematic so I'm thinking that I won't do the garland this year we're, we're actually going to switch that this picture's going and we're going to put that one above the fireplace eventually which will give us more width or more space you know between the fireplace and the beginning of the picture that one really doesn't fit nicely in that space um i've got my angels down on the fireplace i love those angels i've had those for years and years and another one there and i've got this was my marks and spencers advent card. i think it was marks and spencers wasn't it let me double check Yes, it was Marks and Spencer's advent calendar from either two years ago or three years ago. I can't remember which, but it's so pretty that I kept it and use it as a decoration now. So I think I'm going to leave that one there. Um, I've got my going to put my Christmas cards on that lower shelf there. Um, here, so they can go both sides of the shelf because it goes all the way through. And I might do my Christmas garland that goes on the mantelpiece along the top of this cabinet, I think. Just so we've got something this end. I'm not sure exactly where we're going to put the Christmas tree this end. I think probably where the plant is when we finally get the Christmas tree. When Ashley decrees it's an acceptable length of days before Christmas, which I believe is next weekend for the real Christmas tree. So yeah, that's sort of the plan. I think I might do that um, garland around there. I reckon that will be, it won't go the whole length of that, but it will look quite nice. And I can put my crochet stars on it and what have you. 
so yeah that's sort of my plan for that and um don't know what we're having for dinner yet because Ashley's going to choose we can have any of the things that I've made today <laughs> they're all good to go so it's such a nice feeling doing that getting we've got meals for the I'm, I'm away Thursday night as you know with my mum but um meals for the whole week pretty much there the, until the weekend you know so that's nice so I think I'm going to sit down with a Diet Coke and I think I'm going to read my Christmas food magazine. There was a couple of non-alcoholic mocktails. Mocktails are non-alcoholic anyway, aren't they? So with the sort of Christmassy theme. So I quite fancy making those. That would be quite a good thing to do for Vlogmas, wouldn't it? And some alcoholic ones as well. But I'm trying to drink a bit less at the moment. So I'm going to have a look through. Book, book those. Bookmark any recipes or cocktail things that I'm interested in making or doing or talking about and yes do that next then actually i'm going to go let i'll tell you what we haven't done as well the charity jar we need to do the charity jar right excuse the horrible light and i can't find my tripod god my desk is such a mess tell me tomorrow remind me tomorrow i need to tidy my desk and sort out my notice board look at the state of that as well need to get everything sorted um anyway yes today's charity nomination is from sabina bernie 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 sorry i don't know how to pronounce that one sabina i hope that one of those options was right and sabina says charity suggestions would be an animal shelter then she says i agree with another comment that animals give us so much which is true isn't it the air ambulance as i understand they get no government funding Pancreatic cancer, lots of people understandably give to breast cancer, which took my dear mum at 61. Pancreatic cancer took her mum, I think, um, rather than breast cancer. Sorry, I read, I read that, not brilliantly. Um, the British Red Cross and perhaps a homeless shelter where people who have a genuine need can get a hot meal. Lovely selection there, Sabina. Thank you for those. Um, air ambulance has already come up, so... Um, I won't do that one. Um, I think pancreatic cancer would be a nice one to do. So I am going to find a pancreatic cancer charity if there is one. Uh, right, I have found a pancreatic cancer charity. It's pancreaticcancer.org.uk. Um, and I'll show you their website, which is there. I've just done a donation to them. And as usual, the donation confirmation will be the last shot of this video. Um, yes, thank you for suggesting that, Sabina. Um, very happy to donate to them. All, all charities, are, sorry, all cancers are awful. Any diagnosis of cancer is just awful, isn't it? But um, some cancers are... And I use this word advisedly. Um, some cancers are more trendy than other cancers in terms of profile and um, desire to donate. As Sabina so rightly said, breast cancer pro get, probably get, has a bit much higher profile and therefore more donations than something like pancreatic cancer. So it is nice to bear that in mind and be able to donate to one that is perhaps less well known um but equally as devastating in terms of diagnosis i feel like i made a real hash of saying that <laughs> i hope that came over in the way it was meant to i think i might call this a vlog i don't know i'm just looking at my vlogmas calendar and tomorrow's video which will be yesterday for you <laughs> sorry bear with me was best beauty buyers of the year so what i'm gonna do is i've also worked out and then friday's video is a q a with ashley and a mince pie taste testing all in one which was very fun to film we enjoyed filming that it was good good fun so i hope you enjoy that as well so that gives me a chance to have a day off vlogging this week um so that i can enjoy thursday with my mum i don't particularly want to vlog that um you know it's, it's quality time together so i hope you understand that um yeah i want i want to just 
devote my time to spending time with my mum and having fun on that day rather than picking up the camera all the time so yeah that's what I plan to do so I've got those two days or what one day and then another one potentially sorry I'm, I'm <laughs> making my vlogmas plans to you I'm sure you're not in the least interested in the technicalities of when I'm gonna film what but just thinking out loud yeah you'll see this video on Wednesday today is Monday and then on Thursday you'll see Tuesday which I'm gonna film tomorrow and then yeah I know what I'm talking about you probably haven't got the foggiest Oh god, I got to that stage of vlogmas where I was hysterical. Right, I'm going to call this one a day, um, and I will see you tomorrow. But it probably won't be tomorrow for you. It might be tomorrow for you. I don't know when it will be. <laughs> I'm giving up now. See you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.